My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with a Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 47 of the 120 Days to Jam Chemistry with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at preparation of hydrogen sulfide and preparation of ammonia gas. What Jam wants you to know when it comes to hydrogen sulfide gas is that it is prepared from dilute acid and iron sulfide in a Kibbs apparatus. Kibbs apparatus is simply the apparatus or setup that is used to produce or to prepare hydrogen sulfide. Kibbs apparatus is simply when hydrochloric acid react with iron sulfide with evolution of the production of iron chloride and hydrogen sulfide gas. Hydrogen sulfide gas is prepared in the lab using Kibbs apparatus. Not just in the lab, that is the general way to prepare hydrogen sulfide gas. Jam doesn't expect you to know separate way, industry or lab. This is how we prepare hydrogen sulfide gas and this is what you're supposed to know. Kibbs apparatus is used to prepare which of the following? That is dumb question. It is used to prepare hydrogen gas. Kibbs apparatus is used to prepare dash hydrogen gas. How about ammonia gas? To prepare ammonia in the lab, we use slate lime. Calcium hydroxide is slate lime, while calcium oxide is quick lime. Sodium hydroxide is caustic soda. Potassium hydroxide is caustic potash. Na2CO3 is soda ash. Na2CO3 dot 10 H2O is washing soda. All these common names are usually interesting and cool to you in chemistry, even sweeter than the IUPAC name. IUPAC name can never. When slate slime reacts with ammonium chloride, we will get calcium chloride, we will get water, and ammonia gas will be produced. Ammonia is given off. This is the laboratory preparation of ammonia. Now, Jump past question. Why slake lime? The reason we use slake lime to produce ammonia is one, it is cheap, and two, it is not deliquescent. What is deliquescent? Deliquescent is a property of salt where salt absorbs water from the atmosphere and it dissolves, it turns to solution. Meanwhile, other properties of salts are efflorescent and hygroscopic. Efflorescent salt is a salt that contains water of crystallization. When exposed to the atmosphere, this salt can lose some or all the water of crystallization to form lower hydrates or anhydrous salt. Anhydrous salt means no water of crystallization at all, while lower hydrate means if it has 10 water of crystallization, if it loses only 5, then 5 remains, which means it is a lower hydrate. A hygroscopic salt is a salt that, when exposed to the atmosphere, it can absorb water vapor, but it doesn't dissolve, which means hygroscopic substances will, very, will be very good as drying agents. We use them for drying. So, this is a jam pass question. Why is Slate lime used in the production of ammonia. One, it is cheap, and two, it is not deliquescent. Go back to acid, bases, and salts if you need to know more under the properties of salts, preparation, and uses of salts. In the laboratory, industrial, pre uh, industrial preparation of ammonia is via, via harbor process. Under industrial processes, I mentioned harbor process, and I said that it is used in the production of ammonia. 
and the catalyst used in Haber process, that will be finely divided iron. Yes, I am correct. Finely divided iron is iron in powdered form. Why for contact process used to produce H2SO4, we use vanadium. Vanadium four oxide. Vanadium oxide. That is what we use for contact process. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, when it comes to no metals and their compounds, metals and their compounds, exactly the way I am explaining this and this equation, that is how it will come in jam, exactly. So what do you do? After each of the classes, get a flash leather jam app and begin to play with questions under no metals and their compounds. Choose all the no metals you want, but choose no metal as a topic. You will see them like this. Please play with them. And if you have any issue or any question, just screenshot it from the Flash Learner Jam app and send to me on WhatsApp. I will respond to you. So long as it is from the Flash Learner Jam app, I will give you priority. I will always respond. So that is it. See you in the next episode.